Yes. <laughs> That's me getting engaged back in December 2019. Yay! And then a few months later, coronavirus hit. I'm due to marry my fiancé Tim in July. I'm from a big Greek Cypriot family and weddings are usually large affairs and honouring that is important to me. Under current guidelines, weddings are limited to 15 people, though restrictions on gatherings are due to end on the 21st of June, but that is dependent on COVID rates. So although many of us have got the dress, booked the band and printed the invites, the anxiety over wedding planning is far from over. Hey, we're Tom and Amy. Uh, we've had to postpone our wedding twice now. Um, and we're hoping so that Very we much. can <laughs> make it <laughs> in work August. in August. I think I've probably been a lot more anxious <laughs> than Tom has. Uh, we're hopefully in a good place now, but yeah, it hasn't been yeah. hasn't been as fun as we would have hoped, kind of wedding planning yeah. with all these kind of worries overhanging. You, you don't start having kids or anything. That, all that's been postponed the entire time that a wedding's been postponed for. So moving on finally would also be good into the next stage of life. <laughs> Restrictions on weddings have caused personal and financial issues for so many couples and led to the UK wedding industry losing an estimated £15 billion. Pounds. Hi, I'm Caroline. I'm Steve. Uh, we've been engaged now since April 2019 and we're hoping to get married in September of this 